guys for joining me today. I'm a little early for my signing, but I was like, eh, I'm here, might as well jump in. Hey, hey everybody, hi. Happy Saturday, is it Saturday? No, yes, it's Saturday. Where does the time go? I don't even know. Hi, hello. Thanks for joining me, everybody. You might hear some music in the background. A, I have a playlist going in the background. Uh, but also, my husband is in the middle of writing music for a video game. So you might hear him plunking along on our piano in the background. So he said, please forgive him. He's sketching ideas today. Um, hi, hello. Welcome, welcome. So I'm going to be uh, signing uh, prints today, answering questions. We're just gonna hang out. Um, for those of you who haven't joined me before, um, because the chat goes by pretty fast sometimes, um, if I don't answer your question, feel free to repeat it, because um, I might just not have seen it. Um, but I will be signing all the prints that everyone ordered on Streamly today live. Uh, and if you still wanted to get a print, they're still available at streamily.com slash Brittany Cox. Um, hi, hello everyone. Oh, it's Sunday where you are. Nice. I love it. Well, um, yeah, I guess we'll just dive in. Oh, and for those who um, ordered one of these beautiful prints, uh, I was a dum-dum and forgot to order more, so I'm going to be doing a second signing in the next week or so because um, I don't have enough to do all of the uh, orders that you guys place. So I'm going to do the ones that I have because I sold a lot more at uh, SAC Anime than I expected to. Um, so I'll be doing um, another signing later as well. So if you ordered one of those, don't worry. If I don't get to you today, I'll definitely get to you. Hi. Oh my God, you are so sweet, Chelsea. Hi, thank you. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, so I guess we'll just jump right in because, you know, why not? Oh my gosh, so somebody ordered one of these beautiful prints. Isn't that pretty? I love it so much of Ingrid. Um, let me make sure I get the number on the back. Are you guys doing anything fun today other than like hanging out here? Hello, oh, Tanzania. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Thank you for joining. Hi, oh, happy Friday to you. It is uh, it is Saturday here, but happy Friday on your side of the world. Oh, Saturday, you mean, I know. What is time? Um, so this Ingrid print is to Edmundo. And guys, you all know I'm terrible at pronunciation and spelling, so if I say your name wrong, I'm so sorry. I will do my best. I promise I will spell it correctly, though. Uh, so this one is to Edmundo. And write an Ing Ingrid quote. Uh, okay, let's pick a nice one. Um, Let's do, I always have to, I write down some of my favorite. Um, uh, do, 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 da, 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 best Ingrid quote. Um, did I catch you off guard? Oh, I like that one. I haven't used that one in a while. Uh, did I catch you off guard? All right, Edmundo, thank you so much. Your prince shall be coming to you shortly. Hi, if there will be a Rainbow High episode this week. You know, I honestly don't know. I think they're pretty good about um, Rainbow High episodes coming out every week or every other week, so I'm not quite sure. Um, yeah, it's hard for me to keep up with those sometimes because when I record Rainbow High episodes, I record them so far in advance, I don't always know when the episodes are coming out, so um, it can be a little all over the place. Um, so yeah, hopefully it comes out. Ingrid has a lot of great quotes. I know she does, doesn't she? All right, we have one of our official ones. I love this print. Um, I got to, uh, at, I was at, oh, Ely Mel, hi. Um, I got to go to SAC Anime last weekend, and a 
super sweet couple of fans gave me a official and Oz plushie. And so when I got back, I went to go see Ben Pronsky, who's the voice official, and he got the little Oz plushie. So we made a little video about it that was super fun. He's so sweet. Okay, so this is to Nero. It's a surprise gift for their husband. Oh my gosh! He's a big fan official. Write a cute, fun message. I would appreciate it. Um, how about we do, since it's a surprise gift, um, is there a fun official? Do, 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 do. Let's do... Let's do May the Glory of the Princess, and that's always a good one. May the glory, make sure I spell the name right, of the princess in. Bring light to this world. All right. So Nero, you're not gonna see this. Hopefully your wife sees this, but happy surprise. I hope you enjoy your print. So, oh, you saw the video I recorded. Oh, that's very sweet. Um, my favorite Bella line. Uh, <laughs> I think my favorite one is from the first episode of, uh, all right, everybody on each other's shoulders. Human ladder, let's go was one of my favorite lines. That cracks me up every time I hear it when they're doing the um, uh, looking for each other, uh, uh, doing the, what's it called, where you um, find all the, you get clues and you have to try and solve the clues and find different clues and all that stuff. It was so fun. All right, this one is to Mike and he got a Sonia print with Yamper. I love this so much. Do I prefer energetic characters or cool characters? Oh, that's a hard one. I mean, I like playing cool characters, but uh, I mean, I'm such an energetic person. I feel like it's easier for me to do energetic, like over the top characters that are a little crazy, but cool in their craziness, you know? Like, I imagine like an upbeat, cool skater chick who's like always doing stuff is uh, how I feel that. Uh, how do you get info into voice acting? Oh, that's a great question. Um, so, when it comes to voice acting, um, definitely check out I want to be a voice actor.com. Dee Bradley Baker put together an amazing resource full of like great information, home studio stuff, where where to look into classes, all things agents, how to get started. It is a wealth of information and it's free and he updates it all the time, so highly recommend. Hi everybody, thank you so much for joining. We're just doing some prints and signing. What up? Um, so this Sonia print is to Mike. Oh, and he, he put a fun quote on here. I'll read it for you guys. Um, so he said, the sword and shield the two legendary heroes used. They weren't objects. They were actually Pokemon. Oh, that was such a fun episode. I love Sonya so much and it cracks me up how bad of a driver she is. Two legendary Heroes use. I love how all my characters have like these really long quotes that people love. It's so funny. I didn't think that that would be a thing, um, but I guess all my characters just really like to talk. I guess that comes from me. I really like to talk too, if you can't tell. We're actually Pokemon. Boop, 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 boop. Sonia. All right, Mike. Here is your beautiful Sonia print. Thank you so much for ordering. I appreciate it. Hi, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, Jeff. Hey, Jeff. How are you? How do you 
could choose between using your real voice for someone like Ingrid or more dramatic like Fischl? Oh, that's a great question. So it was so funny. Um, I don't know if everybody knows the story. So when I auditioned for Fischl originally, um, my audition sounded a lot older than Fischl-y ended up sounding. They loved my acting for her. Um, but they were like, when I, when I booked this, the role, they brought me into the session and they were like, okay, great. We love your character you created. We love all that stuff. We just want to make her like 10 years younger. So, um, I ended up not auditioning with the voice that Fischl ended up getting, which is really cool. Um, and doesn't always happen that way. So that was a really nice surprise. Um, yeah. How do I, you know, every character is different and they all come from me so I always start with who's the character like what are they into and how can I embody that and then I feel like um, the voice just kind of finds its way and figures itself out whether it's a little closer to me or a little bit further away um, not everybody has that same process but that's mine and that seems to work really well um, oh yay I'm glad you you've been doing so many workshops Jeff that's a lot all right, so this one is for Kim. And for those of you who are just joining us, um, I was a dum-dum and forgot to order more of these prints. So if you're on today, I, I have a couple more left. Um, if I don't get to signing your print, don't worry. I'm gonna do another signing in the next couple of weeks um, so I can order some more of these because they're so popular. I mean, it's official, come on. Uh, so this is for Kim and Kim says, uh, hi, Brittany. Can you write? It's time for retribution. Uh, you got it. I love it. Did you guys all enjoy um, Fischl's summer event? I thought it was so much fun. Like the princessin, be, ha, like facing her alter ego. How cool was that? When they, show, when they were showing me the visuals and we were going through the scripts to record, I was like, this is the coolest thing I've ever done. I can be mean official, best day ever. It is time for retribution. And then Oz kind of like being a traitor, but like not, it's just all so fun. And we got to learn more about um, her backstory, which I always love. All right, Kim, here is your print. Thank you so much. Oh, yay! You think it was the best event in the game's history? That's so nice, thank you. Oh my gosh, yeah, I love the banter with Mona. So funny, their arguments crack me up. Oh my gosh. I was so sad I couldn't hear Mona's voice when I was recording because I think that would have been more fun, but I think it came together in such a fun, cool way. Uh, have I met Sandy Fox? Yes! I met Sandy Fox um, right before COVID, so years ago, um, at my first convention um, where I was just on a panel. I wasn't doing a signing or anything. Um, and Sandy was so lovely. Um, I'm sure they don't remember me, which is fine because they meet a ton of people. Um, but yeah, it was so it was so fun. Wonderful human. All right. Oh, Brenda and Pandora got our Pegasus Knight Ingrid. What? What? I know by the amazing Hellion. Their work is so good. If you guys are looking for an artist to do any fan art or anything, I cannot recommend Hellion enough. Um, I mean, all of these artists are amazing. Um, I post about their stuff all the time. So love, love, love. Um, so yeah, so this is going to be to Brenda and Pandora. I love those names. To Brenda and Pandora. Okay. Can you write her critical my duty is your death, please. Of course, that's such a good one, good quote for this one. My duty is your death. That's such a great Ingrid line. Has anybody been playing uh, Three Hopes? What do you guys think? I 
have been watching a lot of it and it's so good. It feels like coming home, you know, everybody back together and, you know, doing all the things. It was so nice. Your name is Tim. Oh, thank you, Tim. That's very sweet. You love my, oh, you guys are so sweet. Um, oh yeah, I know. I was so disappointed that I didn't get to go to uh, Anime Impulse with everybody else. Uh, this time, because I was up in Sacramento for the Finna Pirate Princess cast get-together, which was amazing. It was such a fun time. It was my first time at SAC Anime. Highly recommend. They are such lovely people, took such good care of us, and everyone was wonderful. Um, so that was really great. Oh, Ryan and Smokey, you're doing good. So Ryan, you might hear him in the background. Ryan is composing music for a video game. So he is in the middle of writing a ton of music, which is very exciting. So you'll probably hear that in the background. You love pirate princess? I love pirate princesses. I mean, you can't go wrong. You got pirates and you got princesses. Um, oh my gosh, you're so sweet, Chelsea. <laughs> All right, so we have to Sergio, we have Summer Ingrid. So fun. Okay, so Sergio said, favorite Ingrid quote or just a signature if one doesn't come to mind. Um, oh, good one for Summer Ingrid is, uh, swimming is great for your whole body. That's a good one. Cause it's true. You're going under is also a good one, but. All right. Sergio, thank you so much. Voice over audition websites I recommend. You know, there are a lot of, there's a, there's a million different ways to find auditions. It depends on what you're looking for. It depends on what you're doing for, for big auditions, for like Genshin Impact, Fire Emblem, things like that. Um, having relationships with studios and having an agent is where you're going to get most of that level type of stuff. Um, you know, Twitter is actually a great, if you're looking for character work, Twitter is a great way to connect with studios and indie developers and, th and smaller projects and stuff. Um, so it's a great way to get to start auditioning and get your foot in the door and things like that. Um, I'm sure there are other places to find auditions. I'm just not the best at, uh, they're, they're smarter people than me. If you go to um, voice actors, or no, I wanna be a voice actor.com, I know they have some great advice and great uh, resources about where to look and how to get started and all that stuff. So I highly recommend checking that out. Um, okay, Doo -doo -doo. so we got another Ingrid Pegasus Knight, which is fun. What was my first big break in voice acting? Well, you know, it's kind of a mix. So my first uh, commercial that I did was for uh, Hard Rock Hotel and Cafe Lake Tahoe for like their summer DJ event. Uh, so that was really fun. My first video game was, do you guys remember the one, two switch? When the, it was right when the switch first came out. Um, and did, uh, was, uh, I did all the female voices. So like, pose, one, two, one, two, three, dance, pose. So I did all that, which was really funny. Um, but my first like big, big thing that kind of like put me out there was Fire Emblem, Three Houses doing Ingrid, which is hilarious. Um, okay, so this uh, Ingrid print is for Feng Chun Kiat. I'm so sorry if I messed up your last name, Kiat. Um, is I think how that's pronounced. But thank you so much. I'm gonna spell your name right, I promise. Um, and they just want their name and a signature, which we can do. All right, thank you, Feng Chun. Thank you so much. Hi, uh, when did I first start my job? Um, 
I have been voice acting for 10 years. Um, before that, I was doing a lot of on-camera and theater acting. So I was in um, like a lot of on-camera commercials. I did a couple of short films and indie films. And then um, I did a lot of theater when I lived in Seattle and in North Carolina, Wilmington. Um, talented and I, oh my gosh, you, you guys are so sweet. I'm so glad you all love the characters. Like that means so much to me um, that you guys love, you know, these characters almost as much as I do, which is very cool. When I was cast as Ingrid, did you realize how big of a deal it was? No, not at all. Oh my goodness. Um, so, uh, and this one is to an unknown person, facial action pose. Um, so when I got called in, I had no idea at all. I was new to town. A friend had introduced me to Patrick, who is the um, voice director, and he brought me in for an audition for a game. I thought I was gonna get like, you know, if anything, just a small, small little characters. And then when I got the call that I was one of, that I was Ingrid, I was like, oh my gosh, this is so exciting. I still didn't realize how big of a character she was. And then the game came out and I was like, oh my God, because when we get these games, they don't tell us what the game is. You know, everything is code names. So I had no idea this was for Fire Emblem, no clue at all until it came out. And that was just so exciting for my first like big LA project. Um, so let's do, so they just want a uh, official quote. Uh, let's do, 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 that's a good one. Uh, you and I are both, hmm, you and I are both travelers from another world, but our paths have crossed here is no accident, but the will of fate, that's a good one. Um, and it's not super duper long. You and I are both, I know that's the thing with official lines is they're so long. If I don't like pay attention, I will totally mess it up. Um, you know, recording for these lines are just a lot of uh, brain power. I'm always so tired at the end of our sessions, um, which is a good thing. I just love her so much. That, our paths have crossed. There's no accident, no accident, but the will of fate. I swear, I think after doing official, I think, um, I could, I've never been, a, I've never done a Shakespearean show before, but I think after official, I'm like, I can take on Shakespeare. We got that. All right, unknown person, here's your print. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Um, Ingrid was your favorite. Oh my goodness, you're so sweet. My favorite Netflix original. Ooh, that's hard. There's so many good ones. Um, you know what I've been watching recently that was really good? Uh, did you guys watch Arcane? I don't know if it's a Netflix original, I can't remember. Um, but Arcane is so, so good. Oh, also, uh, Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous, highly recommend. That is a great show. Um, it's always nice to be in the world of Jurassic Park. Okay, uh, so we have another Summer Ingrid, and this one's to Nate. All right, where can you watch Finna Pirate Princess? Oh, that's so wonderful. So, um, it's on Crunchyroll, um, but I don't know if the dub is on Crunchyroll because it was a um, Adult Swim and Crunchyroll collaboration, um, but you can rent it or buy it on Amazon or iTunes. That's how I have it, um, is on, I bought the whole season on iTunes. Um, and it has both the original, it has the dub and the sub. So whatever you're, you're feeling. I mean, please see the dub, but you know, I understand either way. Both casts are amazing. Um, and you can hear me being quirky and ridiculous and like do weird stuff, which is always fun. <laughs> 
Uh, so this is to Nate, and he just wants a signature, which we can make happen. Thank you, Nate. I appreciate it. Arcane is so good, right? I know, it's so good. Oh, that's so fun. Cuphead is a fun show. I remember when those sides came out, I was like, this looks fun. Sarah Sherman uh, either casted or voice directed it. Um, did such a great job with that cast. Such a fun show. Okay, so we have another Ingrid Pegasus night. Wait, oh. Uh, yes, I am Gamo from Don't Toy With Me, uh, Miss Nagatoro. I, uh, so speaking of chill characters, that's me. I, uh, that character is so funny. They blind casted me in that, so um, I didn't audition for it. They were just like, hey, we want you to do this thing. And I was like, okay. Um, what a different project. I normally don't work on stuff like that. And uh, being a snarky frenemy. Uh, so that was really fun, and um, I think I find my favorite line that we we changed um, from the adaptation. I, Smell you later, nerds! I've always wanted to say that, and I'm so glad we got to put that on the show, which was uh, super fun. Um, oh my gosh, I love Allegra. You know, we met for the first time this year, which was so crazy. Like we've been talking and stuff online for years now. Um, and we finally met in person, which was great. Uh, okay, so JJ wants me to say, my duty is your death on this. So you got it, JJ, no problem. Um, I love Allegra's work on Fire Emblem. I mean, I love her work on it, everything. Uh, I think it's so fun with the uh, Fire Emblem cast because everybody is so good at their job. Like, I love cheering everybody on because they're all just so stinking talented. All right, JJ, thank you so much. Uh, can I explain how I felt about casting for Finna? Oh, yeah. Oh my gosh, uh, Finna, Pirate Princess, uh, the casting, brilliant. Like everyone is so perfectly cast and that doesn't happen all the time. And having met everyone in real life last weekend, I'm like, how did they find all these people? They are amazing. Some of the cast, it was their first ever anime. Um, other people, this was their first like big role in an anime. It was so, it's, I mean, everyone is so good. We did a, um, we did a panel where we read uh, some of the scenes live from the show. We also uh, swapped roles a couple of times. So for those who have seen the show, uh, I read some Yukimaru lines and uh, Rob, who voices Yukimaru, read some Fena lines. It's hilarious. I'll post the video probably next week. Um, but, uh, yeah, everyone was so good and such good people. So half of the cast was in New York and the other half was in LA. So we didn't get to meet um, until last weekend. So it was very cool. All right, so this is uh, for Stacy, who wants the quote, it's only awkward if you make it awkward. <laughs> she says, girl has some moments. Yes, she does. I love this quote, Stacy. Thank you so much for choosing it. You have made my day. <laughs> I feel like Ingrid has some of the best lines. My poor sweet granny makes me laugh every time. When they brought us back in for uh, Three Hopes, my first uh, lines with Sylvain, I was like, yes, this is the best. Their relationship cracks me up. All right, Stacy, thank you so, so much. I appreciate it. Live cast shuffles are so much fun, right? It was so much fun. 
Oh, that, that's really cool. Yeah, I, you know, this is the first time I had ever been invited to a um, convention with the rest of the cast that I was a part of. Um, so we had such a good time. It was really good. And you know, I like real, I wasn't sure how I'd feel about doing conventions because I had never really done one before and I'm kind of introverted uh, sometimes. And I think I'm going to do more of them. I, you know, so if you guys are, you know, want to see me in your town, please tell your cons to bring me out because I think I'm going to do it. It was so much fun. I know Joe Brogy is the best. He's so funny and a good ma uh, magician, like an amazing magician, which I think is so cool. All right, this is to Rachel. And so Rachel is getting my last official print for the day. Again, if you ordered one, don't panic. I'm gonna be ordering some more. So I will do another signing next week to finish up all of the official Oz prints that um, I don't get to today. Uh, so this is to Rachel Green. To, I'll just put your last, your first name. To Rachel. It's nice to be in person and like seeing people in real life and not just online. Though I do love meeting people and seeing people online and stuff, but it's, it's nice to get back in person. Rachel, thank you so much. Uh, you're telling the LA cons to bring me on. Let's do it. I think I'm actually, um, in November, I think there's a con in, uh, or a something in Pasadena in November that I think I'm going to. So if you guys are around, I, I will probably be there. Um, okay, so we have another Pegasus Knight. And this one is to Drake. What a great name. To Drake. All right, Drake, thank you so much. Can I come to uh, the UK? Yes. You guys want me in the UK? I am down. You know, it's so funny. So I've been, I, I've been to Italy multiple times. I've been to Greece I've, and I've been to France, but I have never been to the UK ever. It's on my bucket list. I can't wait to go. Um, so yeah, you guys want to get me out there? I am down. Let's do it. All right. So I'm going to skip this guy because official Nas print. Skip to the next. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. This is this pretty Ingrid. I love this one. It's so romantic, um, which is fun. So I'm going to so mess up this name. I apologize. Jalgeon? Uh, X-A-L-G-E-O-N. Thank you so much. I'm gonna spell your name right. I'm ter I'm sorry about mispronouncing it because I'm sure I I'm like 90% sure I did. Thank you so much for the print. I love these. They're so romantic. Hi, hello everybody. Welcome, welcome. Uh, uh, uh. Complete. Okay, I've been doing good. Remembering to put the numbers on the back so all the right prints go to the right people. <laughs> okay, skipping this one. Okay, Alex got the big one that has the sparkles on it, which I love. Hi! <laughs> do do do. Okay. I feel like with these big prints, I like have to write really big. I, uh, I'm terrible about that. I'm such a small writer that I'm like, this feels huge, when really it's probably not that big. I also don't want to cover up this beautiful artwork. All right, Alex, thank you so much. Hello, welcome. Thank you for joining us. Hello, hello. We're just hanging out, signing prints. 
What is my favorite Ilya Mal moment? Oh my goodness. Um, that, ooh, that's a tough one. Because Ilya Mal is so funny. Um, I love her banter with everybody, especially when she's being snarky. Uh, like, her entrance is so funny where she comes in on her rollerblades and she's like, uh, what? Did you forget about me? Love that. Such a great entrance. And tells you everything you need to know about her character, which I love. Okay, so... Summer Ingrid. Yes! Uh, so this one's for... Nigel is, I think, how this is pronounced. Um, it's just spelled slightly differently than I'm used to seeing. Um, so Nigel asks if I could put defenseless are we? Oh, that's a good one. That's a really good one. Of course. So did anyone see that Hocus Pocus 2 is coming out this uh, fall? I'm super excited about it. I don't know about anybody else, but I cannot wait. That was one of my favorite movies growing up. With the Sanderson sisters. All right, Nigel, thank you so much. Would you say uh, being a good singer translates into VO? Absolutely. I mean, the great thing with any kind of performance, uh, like performing arts, is they all, all those skills help every other type of performing art. It's just learning the slight differences. Cause where, like with music, it's all about the musicality and the flow and making each word like delicious. In voiceover, that's not necessarily the case. We want, our job is to try and make things still sound fun and like musical and exciting and all that stuff. But how can we bridge that gap and also make it sound real? Like these are people that, even though it's a cartoon character, we could hang out with them. Uh, any time, you know, even though they're a little larger than life, they feel like it's someone that we know or someone we could hang out with. Um, so that's the challenge, but absolutely, it totally translates. Um, is there a best way to share fan art with me? Instagram or Twitter, just tag me. That is, I love seeing fan art. And for those of you who have like um, sent me stuff before, I love resharing fan art and all that stuff because it's so fun to see like you guys are all so talented which you know makes me excited and um uh, you know it's cool like i want to support other people doing their art of things that like they're really excited about so yeah uh can i do sonia from pokemon journeys uh yeah <laughs> what's it her uh, what is her entrance um oh sonia is my name Nice to meet you. Go. <laughs> I love them so much. <laughs> Sonia's great. I, uh, my godson is a big Pokemon fan. And when he found out uh, I was voicing Sonia, he called me and he was like, Aunt Brittany, Aunt Brittany, can you do Sonia? And it was like first thing in the morning, I was like half awake. I was like, okay, yeah, sure, bud. So I did a line for him. And he thinks about it for a minute and he's like, mm, it's not as good as the show, <laughs> which was so funny. Oh, that kid, he's such a stinker. All right, this is to an unknown person. I hope you enjoy your official print. I love these but with the action pose. Heck yeah. Do -do -do. Just have to dry these off so they don't smudge. I'm a terrific sing. Oh my gosh, Natasha. <laughs> So my singing coach, Natasha, has just joined us, which is hilarious. Hi! Um, I've been working with her virtually for two years, which is crazy to think it's been that long. Um, so if anybody's looking for a, muse, a singing coach, let me know. I'm happy to share her info because she's the bomb.com and has like made a huge difference for me. All right, friends. Hello. Hello. Oh, that's cute. Oh my gosh. Hey, Nicole. What's up? 
so we have a Ingrid print for Richard. Thank you, Richard. I love this, these prints. They're so romantic. Put, you'll put in a good word. Oh, great, yeah. You guys are wonderful. Uh, you missed your print being signed. Oh no, don't worry, I'll put this up. And um, you know, if you, uh, if you ordered one of the um, official Oz prints, I might not have signed it yet. Um, I might be signing it later this week because I was a dummy and didn't order enough prints because I'm silly like that. Um, I always, I, I like never think about it and I'm like, oh no, Ooh, but that's great because she, uh, she is the coolest. Okay, so this is to Richard. Boop, boop. Richard did not request a quote, so we're just gonna sign it for him. Thank, thanks, Richard. Thank you so much. Candylicious Bratz. I love that name. Oh my goodness, that is a fantastic name. My name's boring. I feel like it's very, you know. I love it when people do creative stuff <laughs> with their uh, handles. All right, so we got another Summer Ingrid, which is the best. I don't know about you guys, but it has been so hot in LA. It's been in like the hundreds this past week. Whew. It rained for the first time in like all year yesterday, which was so nice, but it's still like super duper hot. I am ready for fall. My, and my husband and I, we were trying to figure out what we want to dress up for Halloween this year. We got some ideas. We're, one, <laughs> one idea that we might actually do is we're big fans of Chef Gordon Ramsay. So I might dress up as Gordon Ramsay and he might dress up as Joe Bastianich for anybody who watches MasterChef. Um, thought that could be pretty fun. Or uh, we're also, does anybody watch Glow Up, the makeup competition from the UK? We're also debating uh, dressing up as um, the two judges on there because uh, he has a bald head too and has facial hair so we could grow out his mustache, make it pretty fantastic. And uh, I just like saying, tick, that's a ding dong, darling. I just love saying that. <laughs> like, <laughs> I just think that's so fun. Uh, okay, so we have a, uh, another Pegasus Knight. Or Ingrid, and they want my duty is your death, and an autograph, of course. Unknown mystery person. Ingrid has so many great quotes. Is your death? All right. Thank you, mystery person. I really appreciate it. Da -da -da. We are rocking and rolling through these. I'm so proud of us. Like, usually I get really distracted. We're doing good today. Oh, I think somebody asked a question. Let's see. What's my favorite official line? I mean, there's so many good ones. One, um, you know, all the Oz, reveal thyself is always a good one. Um, so I'm, I'm such on an official Oz kick right now with their friendship. Um, another good one. May the glory of the princess and bring a light to this world. That's another good one that I like a lot. All right, so this one has no special instructions, so we'll just give it a little signature. <laughs> oh my gosh, Nicole, you're so wonderful. <laughs> so Nicole is uh, sh uh, she's in North Carolina and is um, one of my my buds from back in the day uh, we were roommates back in college for half a minute um, and her and my husband are like besties she was uh, a groomsman or groomswoman at our wedding which was super fun so I love it uh, favorite line for Ingrid? Um, there's so many good ones. I mean, sweet, sweet granny's always a good one. 
My Duty Is Your Death, another great one. Um, or uh, Seems I Prevailed. I like that one too. That's a good one. Uh, and somebody asked, if I wasn't voice acting, what would I be doing? You know, that's tough because I've done a lot of things in, uh, in my life. I've interned at the Supreme Court. Uh, I thought I was going to be a lawyer for half a minute. Um, I've worked in restaurants managing them. Um, I uh, thought about going into publishing and helping people get their books published. Um, yeah, I, so, but I mean, making, making cartoons and making uh, shows and movies, like, is just, I think, where my heart is. So I think, and I'm kind of doing this, uh, in addition to voice acting, I'm starting to create my own kids shows. Uh, which is very cool. So I'm going to be obnoxious about it in the next couple of weeks because our pilot's almost done. Um, but uh, I have a kid's show that's going to be releasing soon called Zoe's Mythical Menagerie. Um, and we got an amazing cast. Like, you guys are going to recognize quite a few of the actors in it, um, which is cool. And our, uh, our composers, everybody's amazing. The whole team is amazing. So I can't wait to share that. So you guys will be seeing that sooner rather than later. Um, oh my gosh, yay! I'm so glad you were here to see your print signed. Yay! And good night everybody who has to go to bed. Um, I was the theater queen. Oh my gosh, I don't know about that. <laughs> Nicole, you're so sweet. Uh, so we have another Pegasus night. My duty is your death is like popular today. Another person requested that. I love that. Hi, hello, welcome. You wanted to rescue dogs, yeah. Oh my gosh, Adam, you have such a good memory. I don't know how you remember that. Yes, I also love rescuing dogs. Uh, uh, hi, David. <laughs> I hope you have a good evening or good morning or good afternoon, wherever you are. Um, yes, I will, post, uh, I will post this afterwards. I'll post it to um, uh, my Instagram. So no worries if you guys missed parts of this. My duty is your death. Is it bad that my 12 year old brain is always like, <laughs> duty? <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm just ridiculous. Da -da -da. Okay, thank you unknown person. I hope you enjoy this. Uh, how was it, what was it like? Oh, recording for Finna Pirate Princess. Ooh. That was really cool because we, so that entire project we did during COVID, we recorded the whole thing remotely um, and the cast was on two different coasts. Um, it was really exciting, really hot. Um, I was also in the middle of moving and so the first half of the season was filmed in my old apartment. The second half of the season was filmed in my second apartment um, where I am now. Uh, so that was a little stressful. Um, but it was really cool because they were it's an original um, and it wasn't based on an old property or anything else. They were um, making the show as we were dubbing it. So it was so interesting. So sometimes, usually when I'm dubbing stuff, the show's totally done because we're doing to mouth flaps, right? This show, not every episode was done as we were doing it. So like some of the backgrounds would just be pictures of Japan or pictures of the ocean and a boat um, or uh, the characters wouldn't be totally colored in it'd be more like sketches and animatics which was really cool to see for a dub that doesn't usually happen um, which is crazy uh, so this is going to be to Sean uh, okay oh different quote for this one uh, those of us still on this plane of existence will carry the torch. Oh my God, I love that. Get out of here, Instagram reminder. I don't need to listen to you today anyway. I, I kind of wish that uh, we would get a flashback of Ingrid and Glenn in one of the games or like a prequel. I think that would be so beautiful and heartbreaking and delightful because I love their her love for him.
Maybe have them fighting together. That'd be pretty cool. When, uh, when we started recording for Three Hopes, uh, the first thing I said is, did Glenn still die? Is he alive? Are we, like, are we getting a different story? And they were like, no, he's still, he's still not here. That was a little disappointing. But that's okay. All right. Friends. Uh, love to see Ingrid's. I know. It's such a sweet story. Wouldn't that be cool? I know. It'd be really sweet. Sean, thank you so, so much. I appreciate it. Uh, okay, so the only the only orders we have left are for the Fischl and Oz prints that I dumbly ran out of. So I will be doing another signing at some point next week to finish up those um, so I can get some more prints ordered so you guys can get your prints and everybody can get them. And uh, I'll be sending out all these prints at the end of next week. So hopefully you guys will get them sooner rather than later, which uh, I'm, I, cause I don't want you guys to have to wait, which is fun. Uh, hi guys, welcome, welcome. Um, but yeah, thank you all so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. I know this was a uh, kind of a shorter one than we normally do. But we, uh, you know, there will be more opportunities. And again, for those who are, have conventions and stuff uh, in your hometown, if you want to see me in person, please request me at your local con. Um, I'm starting to do that more, which is very exciting, being in person again. Um, I had a blast. And so I would love to meet you guys and, you know, be in person and hang out and do all that stuff. And uh, yeah. I hope you all have your a wonderful, wonderful rest of your Saturday, rest of your weekend, and thank you so much for joining me. It's always such a pleasure to be here, and uh, for those of you who ordered a print, thank you again for the support. Like That always means so much. So you guys have a great weekend, and yes, we will chat soon, and Adam, thank you so much for being such a rock star. I always appreciate it. Uh, all right, guys, so I, oh, no, you did, but I'm going to do another one later this week, so don't worry, and I'll post this video up if you wanted to watch it, so I appreciate you, evil, <laughs> evil loaf of bread, <laughs> that's a great name, um, awesome, everyone, have a great weekend, and we'll chat next time, <laughs> bye, guys! <laughs>